In this lecture, I will show you how to download and install Unity. If somehow you already have Unity on your computer, then you can skip this lecture. All right, so I'm going to any web browsers. I'm going to use Google Chrome here, and I'm going to just type on Google, download Unity. That's it. It's that easy, and that will be the first link. Let me show you this link right here, unity3d.com, get Unity download. Just click on it, and then once you're on that page, on the top right corner, you have a Get Unity button. You just have to click here, or you can just here click here, choose your Unity plus download. That's just another way of doing it. All right, so um, it's asking you here what type of Unity you want. Now, you, if you've never used Unity, I advise you to go with Personal, and then you can upgrade later on. And the Personal version is totally free to use. Now, uh, it's not a trick, but they're going to ask you to create a username and password using an email. So make sure you create your user account. Click on download now and download the installer. All right, so meanwhile, what you could do is also just um, sign in. So you could click here and create a Unity ID. All right, in the top right corner, create a Unity ID. And that's what you will use to log in inside of Unity. All right, so now I have uh, the Unity installer running and it will work whether you have a Mac, a PC, or a Linux. Then double click on the Unity Download Assistant. It's coming from the web, so uh, there's just a security that's asking me. Next step, it's asking me to continue, just basically uh, telling me what's happening here. And then click on Continue. Here, this is the license. Agree to the license and continue. All right, agree. Then here, select the components that you want to install. Now, the components that you want to install uh, are obviously you definitely need the Unity 5.4, which is my current version. You probably have any other version. It could be 5.5, could 5.6, or even Unity 6, right, and so on. So you have to have that. You have to have the documentation. So, so it's always good if you're starting. Add the standard asset. It's always good. You can then add the example project. But something you must have is that if you are on... Uh, if you want to publish to the app stores, you have to have and select the Android, iOS, and TVOX, and Linux, and so on. If somehow you forget to do uh, to, to check these boxes and later on you want to install them because you want to publish to uh, TVOS or iOS or Android, then you need to come back to re-download the installer and do, and do this again, okay? That's an important step. Many people don't know how to get this back. So you have to come back here and download them this way. Once you have selected them, um, you can click on continue. And by the way, if you have a lot of room on your computer, just select everything, not a problem. Click on continue, then log in. It's going to uh, verify. And your next step is where you want to have it, okay? And then it's going to download and install. So I'm just gonna stop here, because it's pretty straightforward. All right, now my next step is to show you how to open Unity. It's uh, pretty straightforward. You can go in the top right and click on the search and then search for Unity. That's on Mac and uh, just it will appear right away. It's the one with this icon. If you don't uh, have a Mac and you can go to uh, on Windows, you go to Program Files and you'll find it right there. It's very easy and straightforward. All right. And by the way, when you launch Unity the very first time, it's going to ask you to log in just so that you can use it. And here, click on the sign in button here and use the username and password that you've used whenever you downloaded Unity, the, uh, the Unity ID that I told you earlier. Okay? All right. 